Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video on e-bike and tech. And today we're going to be talking about the Enduro electric bike. As you can see, this is a much, much bigger project over here. At least on my channel anyway. And uh, let's talk a little bit about this bike. So it is a 48 volt, 3000 watt motor. Uh, the battery capacity is uh, 28 amp hour so this bike has some pretty good range and aside from that it is also pretty pretty fast so um, let's see I've done a few tests on this bike already uh, range wise um, there's different pedal assist uh, modes and uh the, the the one that comes in stock is one through five but then there's also a way you can go into the settings and change that up which i did play around with i tried it out and uh you know some settings i decided to change some i did not uh as far as the uh modes go um there is an option where you can switch from it being instead of just five, you can switch it to eight, um, which will give you a bit of a uh, a bigger range. Uh, uh, how should I put it? Like uh, more selections, I guess, as far as how fast you want to go. But on that note, I decided, um, and I didn't feel that it was really necessary. Uh, because really, I mean, the aid modes was just, you know, you'd go one, two, three, and then it would just, you know, be switching from, let's say, 15 miles an hour to 17 miles an hour to 19 miles an hour and then 25 miles an hour, you know? It was a, it was a pretty, pretty slow uh, process. And especially when you turn on the bike, uh, at first it resets to uh, one as default and um let's say for instance i wanted to go up to you know maximum speed right off the bat especially um on pedal assist you know i didn't i didn't feel like going all the way up to eight so i left it at five because you know one is you know probably not even used it's, it's pretty much useless i would say honestly uh two was the most useful because two will get you about 16 to 18 miles an hour while you're pedaling which uh i meant on on which mode i managed to get the most range out of this bike um then pedal assist three will get you about 22 24 miles an hour maybe somewhere around there pedal assist four will be up in about 30 miles an hour or so and then five will get you to about 40 to 42 miles an hour uh let's see so uh as far as the range goes um on pedal assist two uh which which was pretty much the only the only one i've tried going full full range meaning like from full battery to almost dead and even on then i i didn't even i couldn't even <laughs> use up the whole entire battery it was by the time i was done with the you know the range test it was so late and at night you know and i still had one bar remaining oh and there's five bars also of battery which uh was shown this lcd display um let's see what else can i tell you um so yeah uh Pedal Assist 2, uh, which, you know, I was using, I was paddling quite a bit, yes, uh, I would say more than halfway, but then also towards the end, I was just sitting on the throttle, basically, just, you know, relaxing and just going on the throttle and, yeah, going about 15, 16, 17 miles an hour, oh, we got... There's one thing I always manage to do is leave this port open after charging the bike, but no big deal there. Just uh, one thing to consider. 
you might forget that sometimes here and there uh so uh what did i manage to get out of it 60 miles 60 miles and the bike wasn't even dead so i would tell you if you wanted to completely kill it at pedal assist 2 going 15 miles an hour around there um give or take you'd probably get you'd probably need to go about 62 63 maybe even 65 miles so um yeah let's see so the top speed is 42 miles an hour as far as i you know i mean i i did my best i did my best especially on the pedal assist uh there's also an option when you go and change your options there uh, you can choose to disable the throttle from let's say when when you're using your pedal assist and you're accidentally going your throttle it won't let it work but um i believe the way it comes in the stock is uh the throttle will be enabled uh by default and i just left it like that actually because i like it actually um so yeah i think it actually comes in pretty handy especially uh the cool thing about this bike is when i start off by pedaling and i'm on pedal assist you know how you, how it is with these electric bikes you know you start pedaling and it takes about you know three to four seconds for it to kick in depending on the bike and whatnot um but here's the thing if you start paddling and your throttle is just 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 a tiny bit like like just whoop, the paddle assist will kick on right away without having to wait a single bit so which is why which is exactly why i left the throttle option on um and you know even or or let's say for example i'm paddle assist uh, i'm on paddle assist and I feel like going back to throttle, I don't have to wait for the pedal assist to turn off so that I can use the throttle. I can just, you know, go throttle and just, you know, be on my way without any interruptions. Uh, let's see what else, what else? Um, it is full suspension also to mention uh, front and back. Uh, the seat, it came with two seats. Uh, the one it came with stock was a bicycle seat actually there's a different mount here and then there's a bicycle seat that's actually like this um the bicycle seat was right here and then all it takes is to unscrew these four screws right here one two three and then four right here it uh got a little bit difficult but i managed and then I took that off and I put this on and I must say a lot of people say that this looks way better than it does with the bicycle seat. So I stuck with it and plus as far as um, comfortability goes, this seat is actually pretty comfortable. The seat is pretty comfortable. Uh, the bicycle seat was actually pretty hard. Uh, so and this one's more smooth. So, uh, yeah, and then also with this part came this part because when it was just a bicycle seat, it was just, you know, this straight line right here. But once you put this seat on, this part goes in here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how, but it just didn't come with any screws. So I just put it in. It's not, it's not going to move for you it actually takes some force to take it off or move it in any direction so i think it's all right it's no big deal there um this bike also did come with lights um well yes it, it does come with the front lights uh believe it or not it actually also has a high beam option so uh this button right here is for the lights and then this button right here is for the high beam so which is pretty cool um, i'm gonna show that in a little bit but it's it's daytime right now probably won't be able to see it very well but uh there's also i believe if you choose you could put a license plate on here but if you don't then you can just mount the lights on here um so yeah there's back lights they're still at my house i haven't really gotten to put those on i don't really think i need them on anyways i don't really ride around at night 
so yeah I don't really have much of a need so and another thing about this bike has a key uh, you need a key to get it started and um, you just hold down the M button now as you can see it's not gonna start unless you put in the key now it comes with a set of two there's two keys one is at my house one I have right now with me so you just put it in just like so and then you turn it on just like that then you hold the M button and it comes on right just like that oh yeah and uh, in stock it comes uh, with showing you kilometers an hour or, or kilometers in general you also have an option of changing that as well uh, from kilometers to miles so the way you go into your options is you hold these two buttons right here like that and then you'll see that and then you'll just press M to go between each thing so here as you can see miles per hour and then kilometers an hour see change that and then this is your volts so this bike is 48 volt if you put it to 60 volt it's just gonna malfunction and put it put you at I don't know one bar and then it's just basically gonna just, just you know um, glitch uh, and if you put it actually here's here's another trick I've learned um, since this bike is 48 volt uh, let's say for example when it gets to um, when it gets to low battery uh, you know how it usually is uh, there's there's usually a drop in the voltage of how much power you get in your in your motor uh, so with this bike um, if you let's say if you're on like two bars let's say or one bar and you wanna you know you, you're around your house let's say but in, and you want you know the, the full juice you know you want all of it um, I'm not exactly sure if it's it's probably not good for the battery but if it's just you know a, a, a one-time thing that you that you want to do you could switch it to 36 volt or 24 volt whichever one as long as it's below 48 it will I guess think that you have full battery and therefore it will give you as much power um, as possible really um, as much as it can really handle. basically it will act like as if you got full full battery so it's basically tricking the system so uh and then you got uh a lot of these i just don't know uh this is i believe the wheel size you know um also a lot of them uh say don't mess with uh just simply because you don't want the bike to malfunction uh this is actually a limiter so this is also what I did um, for when I was testing testing out the range on this bike. Um, I set the, I don't know why it says kilometers an hour, but basically I set the, I set the limit at about 25 kilometers is about 15 miles an hour, I believe. So um, I set it at 25 so that way I couldn't go over a certain amount of speed um, so that you know I wouldn't waste any battery and I would make sure I get the you know the most juice out of this thing as I could so and then yeah so that's the limiter basically it limits the power that it gives you even if you go if you you know touch on full throttle uh, let's see um but yeah, like I said, you know, some of the other ones I just don't. This one, I believe, is um, either this one or, or a different one. Basically, one of these will allow you to um, switch, you know, between the, the pedal assist modes. Uh, how many you want. The amount, basically. The amount of modes. Uh, so, as you can see, the default is at one once you turn it on, and and even if you let's say go up to five or the fullest one, when you turn off the bike, and then you turn it back on, it will go back to one. So that's that's what I was saying about the eight. If you switch it to eight instead of five, 
you know you just if you want to go full speed you're gonna have to click a bit more times if you want to go full speed on pedal assist oh yeah and then zero is just you know when you just want to use throttle and you can still paddle too um you can still help out the bike if you're going up the hill and whatnot but it's just not gonna count as pedal assist um on the bikes and it was just you know you pedaling that's it it won't it won't you know kick you give you any kick from the motor so yeah let's see oh it's pretty hot so excuse me if i'm running a bit out of breath here and there um so yeah other than that that's pretty much it uh i am going to ride this bike don't worry uh i did read the comments of my previous bike video the harley harley 2000 watt 60 volt volt uh, unfortunately that bike broke down so i mean it didn't necessarily break down but the computer i don't know what happened just one time about two years ago i took it out like in a really cold weather it was about negative 14 degrees uh fahrenheit yeah and so it just you know the the computer i don't know what happened to it just like it, it dimmed down and just just basically turned off very slowly and it just wasn't able to turn on turn back on ever since so it's just sitting in my backyard now but uh yeah i seen you guys complaining uh that i didn't ride the bike and honestly i wish i did because now i can't so uh i'm not gonna do it with this bike i'm gonna ride this bike I'm not gonna do that i'm gonna ride this bike and i'm gonna show you guys oh yeah and also a great a really great addition to this channel um i invested some money and i bought a gopro and some other equipment to it so it will be a much greater experience for you guys and uh while i'm riding i, I bought the chest straight uh a chest strap uh so that the GoPro will be mounted on my chest and you guys will be able to see the whole experience. So without a farther ado, let's get out into the road. Alright, so as you guys may or may not be able to tell, it is a bit later in the day. The reason being is because... I shot one video and it was just, it was just complete crap. The display and everything was out of just, just out of the way completely. Uh, you guys couldn't see the front or anything like that. It was just literally the camera was for some reason, I guess, because of the way I was, the camera was just pointing out, pointing down this way. And you guys could just see my whole crotch and, and that's all, not even the display, so. Um. I uh, ran a few errands, as you can see, my mileage has increased a bit and I lost one bar, but that's all right. Um, there isn't really going to be any like huge difference in performance maybe it will be about one to two miles an hour off um then it is full fu fully charged but that that's all right it's not a huge deal so uh yeah um i made sure that <laughs> this is not going to be the case this time so hopefully this turns out great so uh, without a further ado let's get going here um so we're on paddle assist one right now and i'm just gonna show you just all right, so we're gonna go down a hill a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go down a hill a bit. So. All right. But yeah, once again, you know, I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just, you know, release anything. I'm not just gonna release some crap. Um, but instead, I'm going to try and upload some, you know, good quality content. Let's just say that. All right, so, um, Pedal one. This is just, this is really, this is really what, what you're getting. Like I said, like I mentioned earlier in the video, earlier in the video, it's just, I mean, are you really trying to go four to five miles an hour? I don't think so. So. 
Let's uh, kick it up a notch. Paralysis 2. Now. Watch the difference. Oh boy. Alright, so now it's about 13.8, about 14 miles an hour. Well, um, on the first run, it was about 15 miles an hour. It was 15. Going up a hill, so the speed is dropping a bit. Um, so yeah, even though we are going a pretty steep hill, we're still going at 13 miles an hour. Now we're going downhill. So that was, you know, Pedalsis 2, you know, let's see, once again, you got 13, 13.8, 14.6, 15, if you're going down the hill a little bit. Other than that, that's, that's Pedalsis 2. Switch it up to 3. Alright, this is, alright, so Pedalsis 3 and then so on from there. You're gonna wanna consider um you know that's that's where you either gonna have to paddle pretty pretty quick, pretty fast, um or you can just you know go slow so almost like pretend like you're pedaling and you know you know you're gonna be going pretty fast so that's that's paddle assist three and we're going up a hill too so that's why it's not really going too fast or anything. But yeah, let's, let's pick it up to uh, uh, six, four. Another hill down. So there you go. Now we're going on another hill down. Another downhill. So
that's another thing about this bike. Alright, I'm on palaces too. I'm gonna cruise a little bit, but talk to you guys at the same time. So, a few things to mention. Um, after this bike's battery dropped from five bars, uh, four, three, and two, uh, will go pretty fast. Uh, not too fast, but um, especially if you're going, you know, high speeds like me, about between four, pedals is four and five, or just even throttling in general, and just going anywhere between 30 and 35 miles an hour, you're looking to drop pretty fast. So um, that's that. And then the final bar I would say would be the hardest to kill because I don't know for whatever reason it's like it just I'm gonna tell you straight up how it is it take I, it just it takes forever <laughs> it just won't die I, I can tell you right now the whole time I've had this bike and with these 625 miles I just reached 625 miles can you believe it um with that kind of mileage and me owning this but I own this bike brand new. I got this bike brand new. It costed me about five thousand dollars at the shipping. Um, somebody actually had it all the way up by Texas, somewhere around there. Uh, so it took took a little took a while to get to um, to me. Alright, so I'm gonna turn around here. Turn here and start heading back. But basically, uh, this bike costed me about five thousand dollars after shipping and uh, taxes and everything. Um, then let's see. Yeah, I got it brand new. And so, what I was gonna say actually, with all of this considered, I have not to this day killed this bike. The battery. I have not killed the battery so far. I, I just, the, the bike literally has not died on me. So, um, I don't really have any needs to even, you know, get it to that point. And it's not like I've really even gone like really far destinations, but when I did, because you know, some, from time to time I can, you know, I can go exploring and whatnot, and some distances may, you know, become a bit farther than expected, uh, you know, but the, the lowest I would say I've gotten this bike to was one bar, and it was just barely losing power, let's just say. It was barely losing, like, um, it, it just, it, it was almost like the bike had barely any power left in it, but it was still going. It was still on and it was still going. It was, it was still pushing me, you know, a tiny little bit, but it was still pushing me. I think that's the farthest I've gotten it. So I would say maybe, you know, if I rode oh, uh, just another mile, maybe on the throttle, maybe I would have killed it. Maybe, maybe, but other than that, I didn't, uh, it just, it works great and especially like i said if you go slower you're looking at you know you're looking at this thing lasting you a whole while now you can ride this thing for a whole day and uh let's see charging time eh, if it's almost dead you're looking at about eight to nine hours if it's almost dead but if it's not and you have about two to three bars left and you're looking at about um, six to seven hours around there to get a full charge yep so it's not, it's not bad at all it's not bad at all uh, usually if, um, if I get it to a very low battery I'll leave it I'll leave it charging for overnight you know the, the charger that comes with this bike um, has overcharge protection so I don't even have to worry about any overcharge you know breakdowns or anything like that uh, 
Yeah, right now we're just cruising on pedal assist too. We're chilling. I'm barely even putting in any work on the pedals. I'm just literally just just tapping the, the, the paddles so they just just making them move basically. Not even pushing on them or anything like that. Just making them move. So let's see. Let's see. What else can I say? Um Yeah, I mean like I said, as long as you don't you know put it to the top speed i mean all right so let's let's talk about top speed real quick so if you do go full speed on it for the most part and just just like i said stay between 30 and 35 miles an hour or more uh you're looking at about getting are they i don't know it's kind of hard to tell because i haven't done that test yet but i will tell you right now you're looking at about seven to ten miles at most seven to ten miles i don't know you'd be lucky to get 12 but I, I might do a test like that in the future i might i really might uh, as you can see right now actually matter of fact uh we just actually passed the point where my gopro died in the first in the first one so oh yeah that's another thing to mention um so as i mentioned in the beginning of the video um why I didn't want to, you know, separate the throttle with the paddle assist because, you know, if I, <clears throat> let's say I want to, I want the paddle assist to turn on right away, the throttle lets me do that. And I'll just show you literally the example. All right, so, wait, 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 all right. Look at that. It works, you know? Right off the bat, I don't have to wait no three to four seconds or anything like that. Nothing whatsoever. Because you know, otherwise, look, look. All right, it takes like maybe one pedal. Okay, so maybe about two seconds still. You know, I would rather. Wait. You know, so. It's not a huge difference, but still, you know, um, if you do separate the throttle from the pedal assist, also what ends up happening is, let's say, for example, if you want to stop paddling, go to the throttle, you'll have to wait for the paddle assist to turn off in order for you to be able to start being able to use the throttle. Um, but with both of them being enabled at the same time, you can just go in between the two at any time you want. So, let's go to zero. Let's just go on the throttle a little bit. Now, here's another thing. Yeah, the throttle sensitivity, it is pretty sensitive. Which, actually, I think is a great thing. Because you don't have to make a full twist to go full speed. And also, if you do want to go a little slow, like slower than full uh, top speed, you know, you just, you just touch on it a little bit. You know, just... just you know, and if you want to go full speed, you know, you just go like that. Look, like we're going up a whole steep hill. This is going to be a really steep hill right here. Look. And I'm not even paddling. Look at this.
question I think might arrive might come up after this video goes up um, which is going to be can you do wheelies on this bike um, from my own experience unless there's another setting that I do not know about I am pretty sure this specific bike just does not have that torque like I'll try for you guys right now you know come to a complete stop uh, let's see so you come to a complete stop and you try doing one from just a get-go uh, you'd have to you know try and lift up the bike as well while you're doing it it could become a little um, dangerous but I'll give it a try real quick just to show you guys all right so you know that's you know it's about as much you know so you know so there's not really much possibility for it oh, so maybe you know for a little bit but you know not like a whole wheelie like you can't really I don't know I just don't see it happening with this bike it's just I don't know it's, it doesn't have that torque Oh man, I don't want to fall over anywhere. And also another thing to mention, I have not fallen on this bike since I've got it. Which I'm really proud of and I would not want to do it right now either. either. <laughs> so, it does take quite a bit too, you know, to try and do it. But I mean, if you sit back a little bit on the seat, maybe, but it's just, I don't know. One more time. Yeah, I mean, unless I, it's just me that doesn't know how to do bullies, but for the most part, I just, I gotta say, it, it, like, look. You see what I mean? Like, you, you go in the throttle, and it only goes after, like, a second later. So... Oh man, there's a lot of cars out right now. But I think I covered about as much as I could. The one thing I will I will mention right now, hold on. There's a car coming. Let me just pull over real quick. Um, the one thing I will mention right now is the brakes okay so the brakes are really good um i'll say that right now the bit the brakes also really good there's front and back um, now the thing is i don't know i think the way it came in stock um when i started riding the bike it started you know squeaking here and there especially after you know it gets wet after rain yeah, that's another thing. Um, it's it's pretty it's pretty water resist. It's pretty well water resisted. Let's let's just say that. Um, I've ridden through rain on this thing, and there has not been any problems. Unlike the electric Harley, two thousand watt, sixty volt. Um, that thing was actually malfunctioning and glitching, and just wouldn't work after heavy rain, which was pretty pretty annoying. So, um, let's see. So yeah, this thing, this thing is very well built, very well working. Oh yeah, um, let's see. Let me see if I can, I can park this thing right now real quick. Um, so here are the lights. Let's see. So that's 
the lights. Uh, and then the high beams right here, I'm gonna turn it on right now. That's uh, the high beams right there. So the lights are really, really good as well. Um, has also Shimano seven speed um, that you know allows you to switch gears as well um, when you're pedaling. So it's a little rust there. I'm gonna actually get some W two B W B two forty something like that. Um, w two forty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna get some W240. I will put that there um, to get rid of the rust. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really know what else you can say. I will tell you guys this, um, as good as this bike is, I know it's gonna last, which is exactly why I'm going to make some more videos, especially if you guys like this video. Um, not only will it be greatly appreciated, but uh, I will also go ahead and charge up my GoPro all the way next time I make a video and I'm gonna just ride just ride and give you guys a whole video of me riding and maybe who knows maybe I'll even make a whole uh, range test for you as well on a few different um, modes levels pedal assist you know so yeah bikes they stink you know loud he just you know he literally just drove by me and it stinks in here I can't even breathe like screw that have you know why not have something like this totally environmentally friendly huh. well um I think that's about it you know that you know covers it all for the most part if i did miss anything else or if you guys have any other questions please let me know in the comments below um i will make sure to answer them and also aside from that i will mention you know i'll answer any questions in the next video or in the comments whichever one will come first so yeah um thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video